To get to our settings, we're gonna press the middle button here. You may be in modes, but you could switch to settings down at the tab down here. And now the settings we're talking about today are gonna be here in sound. About halfway down, we're gonna press that and we're gonna open up our sound settings and I'm just gonna go through the list and explain what they all do. So crossfader curve, Basically, this changes the way the crossfader reacts. I recommend trying these all out and seeing which one works best for you. I found that default works best for me because that's what I'm used to, but you may be used to other softwares. So I'm just going to show you an example quick of how of the, the, of the most extreme from default up down to dipped. So, that, so I'm going to turn this track on and slowly move the crossfader over to the right. So that was at default. It's basically a simple fade from one side to another, like you would expect. And then now I'm going to go to dipped. That was cut. So as soon as you move it, it starts playing cut and then dipped so it's up to you however you want to do it i keep it on default next one is eq type so classic this is what it's going to sound like when we when we adjust the EQs. Notice how you still hear sound even when the when the EQs all of them are all the way down. So now if we change that From classic to isolator, play the track again, and you hear nothing. So that's the biggest difference is it'll cut the whole song out. Like, like you would expect if you turned every EQ down because there's nothing left to be playing. So it's up to you how you want to use it. Me, I'm used to the default way, but if you like the isolator, if it fits in with your mixing style, then you can use that. I'm going to keep it on classic. Next is Nero Mix EQ. So drum harmonics and vocals or drum bass and melodic. This is really if you're playing like techno music or music without a lot of vocals, then you could use this. If you're playing more mainstream or EDM music or hip hop, anything with vocals, dance music, then you would want to keep it on this. And it will actually change over here. So... We have a Nero Mix EQ. We got drums, harmonics, and vocals. If we change that setting, and also Nero Mix here, drums, harmonics, and vocals. If we change that setting, the words actually change, which is pretty cool. And again, test this out. See what works better for your style of mixing. For me, I'm used to the drums, harmonics, and vocals. I like to do mashups with the vocals of one song and the instrumentals of the other song. Filter resonance. You could change how your high-pass filter sounds. So I have it on high right now. I'm going to play the song and set a filter. So kind of that whooshing sound that you get, that's that's the resonance of the filter. It doesn't just cut out the highs or the lows, depending on which way you move it. So now that's on high. Let's listen to it on low. You just get less of that sweeping noise. For me, I like that noise, so I keep it on high, but it's a personal opinion. Next is FX routing. So pre-fader versus post-fader. So pre-fader, this is what it's going to sound like when we, when we put an echo on. 
So just a regular echo, and then I'm going to press pause. Notice how the song's off and there is still noise being made by the filter. So it still echoes. There's still an, the echo going on after the song is off. But now if we change that to pre-fader. Your filters, your effects are going to be different. Definitely test it out and see how it works. And the next ones down here are going to be safety features pretty much. So audio limiter, this prevents you from ruining speakers or ruining amps and mixers and stuff like that. If you have it on, it will just limit it to prevent clipping and distortion so you don't have a bad audio single co signal coming out because you're using too much power. Next is auto gain. This app, the way to control the gain is going to be this tiny little knob here in the mixer section in the middle or the mixer sec. The mixer section in the middle, you can adjust the gain with other softwares and other ways the DJ people are used to using these the gain controls every time they load up a song they cap consistent volume but with DJ Pro it automatically does it if you have this selected so watch what happens to the gain as i play as i load up different songs so the gain automatically adjusts based on the song so that you have consistent audio and of course, if you want to do everything yourself, if you're like a purist DJ, you could turn off the auto game, but I don't know why you would do it. Next, you could save and restore manual set gain values, allow overriding gain levels per song. I don't recommend keeping it on. You can if you want to. Output headroom. This is going to be the volume levels. And then pre-queuing is auto select. So if you move the crossfader from one side to, an, uh, to the other or the volume faders, it will change where the pre-queuing is selected. And if you want to learn all about pre-queuing with DJ Pro for the iPad, check out this video over here. Thank you.